On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> hey, Amy. Hey, Taylor. I got out the Odyssey 2. It's so good. I love the Odyssey 2. Tell me more. I grew up with the Odyssey 2, and this is she. <clears throat> this is my Odyssey 2 from childhood. Amy had a 2600. Mm, I never had an Odyssey. Never no, and I never but had a 2600. I, but I, we, we shared. We shared. So it was fine. So we played them all, mm -hmm. depending on whose house we were at. Yeah. Um, with Doritos. Not sponsored. Like, seriously? <laughs> like, that is one of my biggest memories of that. Yeah. Like, Cool Ranch Doritos. And playing video games. me back. That and <clears throat> um, the soft. Uh, oh, the yeah, chips ahoy! And you chew mark, chips ahoy. You mark away them for just a second. I never did that. I like them cold. You, well, and but we're still friends. <laughs> so even though you ate them incorrectly, you may recall yes that the joysticks on an Atari Twenty Six Hundred <clears throat> you plug into it mm -hmm. and then can unplug. Yes, you can to put it away. Mm -hmm. Whereas the joysticks on the Odyssey 2 are non-removable. They just have, there's two little wires that just come out the back. Forever and ever. Which is to say, the joysticks on an Odyssey 2 are hardwired. Which is, I don't think I ever did realize that actually. Those were the terms that I had incorporated. It's hardwired. I assumed that meant soldered. No. 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 So the other day, I put the Odyssey to, I, you know, wanted to play a game. That's one. That's one does. So I hooked it up, I turned it on, and <clears throat> the joysticks aren't quite working anymore. As joysticks go, mm -hmm. I like them in some ways and not in others. The action button, or the fire button, um, doesn't really depress as far as I'd like it to because you don't get that sense like that, it's it's a little shallow for me. Yeah. That, that is literally my <clears throat> only problem with it critique. because when it came to using the joystick, I found it so much easier than the twenty six hundred. The twenty six hundred, I felt like I was fighting it sometimes. Yeah. Um, whereas these, and I liked that it has these cutouts. So well, that, I was just noticing that. Yeah, because then it, you, it tells you your. Yeah, you know you've got it on your on your eight point compass rather than just four. Because yeah. if you don't hit that mark, you may not get the response you want. So at some point in the future, <clears throat> I will probably take these apart, try to clean them, try to figure out how they work, and see if I can make them work again. And it may just be a cleaning thing. But in the meantime, I wanted to. My plan was to open up the case and desolder them and taking careful notes as to what went where. Okay, so imagine my surprise when I open up the case and see this. And it's just... <laughs> Hardwired. But well, but totally removable. I mean, e this is like, easily removable. Easily! You do kind of wonder why they didn't just like make that external and... I do wonder, and I think on some there's gotta be a reason. versions they do. <clears throat> but well this is just great news because now yeah, it's easier I can do what I want to do so I took them both off so what I want to do today is I want to build mm -hmm. a rainbow bridge <laughs> Because whenever, <laughs> whenever I am faced with pins and <clears throat> pins, I'm like, rainbow. let's go Rainbow Bridge. Yeah. So, on both ends will be female on the jumpers. Because what I want to connect it to is the DB9 connector. Okay. DB9 is what Atari uses. So this will allow us to use Atari joysticks, which I don't love. But on this, there's modern joysticks that could work. There's, we've got options. Right. Um, and if I ever repair <clears throat> those and clean them, I can plug their thing into the female, for like, it, you can I can it, use it can too. But either way, it's going to be reversible because I'm just going to create another connector. Rainbow Bridge. The Rainbow Bridge. <clears throat> I'm going to 
pull off ones that are intentionally rainbow colored. So, because it helps me think, like it helps me keep them straight. Because I know red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and yeah. I'll, you know that that makes it easier to me. So, so we've got six pins, which is again works perfectly with the rainbow. Okay. And six pins are <laughs> hi hi. <laughs> Um, what it needs because you've got up, down, left, right, fire, and ground. <coughs> the next thing we need is electrical tape. Sure. And then I'll put purple in there. Yeah. And now I'm just going to wrap the tape up. Ta da! Easy peasy, mac and cheesy. Okay. So here's what I just made. Mm -hmm. We're going up and under. You see the pins there? See the, there's, that's, uh, that's player one, that's player two. So I'm just gonna pop this on to make sure it's gonna fit just fine. Yep, give me yours. Okay, I'll check yours. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yay! Nice. We're gonna stick these guys on here. Okay. Red. Uh, mm -hmm. Just jam it on there. Okay. Got it. Yellow. Yellow. Get it. Green. Orange. Skip. Skip. Next row. Next row. Blue. Skip. Okay. Purple. All right. Being, is it being sweet and focusing for you? No. Maybe. <laughs> Can you see? Maybe. <clears throat> These are going to stick awkwardly out the back at the moment. Right. So, uh, now we need DB9 joysticks. Right. My old Atari joysticks aren't gonna do what we use. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to use brand new <clears throat> DB9 joysticks. Mm. This one is from the Retron, that is the new hardware to play old Atari games. And it has the same female DB9 connector. So you can use this on an old Atari and hopefully now we can use it on the Odyssey. But it's newer so it does not have 40 years of I'm mad about love. Of, if <clears throat> yes. Yeah. My, my brother would always take that off and play with just the plastic I, shirt. I, you had to. I, I mean, I, 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 I couldn't. I had to use this. Thing. Well, you can't <clears throat> on this one. Yeah. So. All right, so this is gonna be, do you want this one? Um, sure. Okay, so you are player two. So we got that. Four, two. Lots of. I am player one. I'm going first. to use this that I got <clears throat> on Tindy, I think. It's called the NES 64 because Atari joysticks are also compatible with, with Commodore. They both use DB9 connectors. So. Um, this will work on my Commodore 64, this will work on my Atari, hopefully this will now work on the Odyssey, but it is clearly a Nintendo joystick. So yeah. they sell you, you buy a Nintendo joystick, right? you take it apart and take the circuit board out, you put Dude. their circuit board in, <clears throat> there's a little bit of, I mean, it, it, it is not a long process. It is a quick build, you put it together and boom, you've got a Nintendo controller mm. that is old from the 80s yeah, the, but it's it. got brand new circuits in it and db9 all right i'll be player one and rainbow bridge new con new new old controller all right <clears throat> if i can reach the <clears throat> maybe just kind of do this a little bit okay. <laughs> all right okay. show them So we have a choice of Subchase and Armored Encounter. 
we are going to play subchase because subchase is the perfect game to test the joystick. A, the character can use all five of those positions. You can go up, down, left, right, and fire. So you can test all of the different. Yeah. Dirt. B, so can player two, because it's a two-player game. And C, nothing can kill you in this game except the other player. So don't. Don't attack each other. I mean, you can, <laughs> you can, well, and you can get hit a few times and not even worry about it. So, but there are no computer enemies. So, let's see. I apparently am. All right, here we go. I'm the airplane. You're the airplane. So, I am this airplane. So player one. If I press forward, I go Taylor faster. If I press back, I go slower. If I press down, I lose altitude. If I press up, I gain altitude. And if I press B, I fire. So you're, this is mapped correctly? Yes. Player one is mapped correctly. Now, <clears throat> it's your turn. Oh, good. So I'm... Oh! <laughs> you're the submarine. I'm the Sorry. little submarine. You're cute. Okay, so, okay, okay so, so because I'm going to the right, I push to the left, I slow down. Good. I push to the right, I speed up. Awesome. Up, I go up. Yeah. Down, I go down. Fire, I fire. Oh, I almost hit you. <laughs> That's okay. Um, what else have we got? I don't know. I'm super confused. It shouldn't have worked the first time. It did. We're yeah. We're not used to things working. Truly. I uh, know, but it did. Yeah. Oh God, I'm zooming in. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I want to. I want to hit some of this other stuff. Oh, not you though. Now, okay, be aware. The ships that are surface ships, yeah. there are two of them. If you hit either, you lose a point. Oh. Boom! That's a point. You hit me. That's perfect. That's what you want to do. Okay. But see, it keeps playing. It's not like you, Nothing you know, yet, yeah, no. die. Consequence free. Yeah. Yeah, so this is correct. Yeah. So. Well, gotcha. We could just leave this and be done. Mm. Be like, done. But. I want this to be a little stronger. So, one at a time, I'm going to take off the plastic, place it back on the pen. Girl, you're gonna solder it. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it, just a drop. I just need a tiniest little bit, but it will give it more stability than these pens, which I can clearly easily pull right out. Want. Give the people what they want. My anyway. nails and possible heat injury. We do a burn unit here in town. You are not going to the burn unit. <laughs> You're not going to take me to the burn unit? I'm not going to burn you. You wouldn't do that for me. <laughs> and be like, oh, the hyperbaric chamber. Rotate. Undo. Well, I am, I am voice activated. I can't know <gasps> if you don't say something. I am voice activated. Keep in mind, my world is through this viewfinder. I can't. Oh really, yeah, that's true. You can't. I can't you really, can't see. Can't see much. All right. Okay. So the last part of this build mm -hmm. is I would very much like to close the case, which means. I needed to make some holes for the DB9 connectors to come out of. Right. So I made these two holes. So you did that already? These are clearly where holes would be if... That's true. And on other models, they were <clears throat> here. Yeah. This just had plastic straight across, even uh, though it had this little alcove. Yeah, I was going to say, it's clearly made for it. Yeah. So That's kind of interesting. Um, we're going to go through the case. And into the slot. There! <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> Perfection achieved. Yes! And now, oh, you know, well, okay, never mind. Um, Perfect is the enemy of good. Yeah, I'll fix it. It's 
at some point. It I'm does. gonna stick it to the case. Well, it looks pretty damn good. I mean, it's honestly, I think so. I mean, no, I'm not. I, I mean, that's not I'm terrible. Not, I'm not throwing shade. Oh, this guy goes right there. Everybody working with it. It's good. Here we are. I have one more thing to say. Okay. Amo amas amant. No, amo amas amat. Amamis amatis amant. How'd I do? Pula, 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 pula. Pula, pula, and pula, these pula, pula, these. I'm a kiss, I'm a key, I'm a co, I'm a co, I'm a co, I'm a key, I'm a co, I'm a keys, I'm a co, I'm a keys. Puella bona est. Do you want to tell them why we're doing Latin or just leave it there? So, for work, first of all, that is Latin. We're actually just conjugate, doing declensions. Nihil per os. <laughs> Which we have one of the few, both have went into one of the few professions where you actually do use Latin every once in a while. <clears throat> but back in the day when we were in Latin class and our awesome ninth and tenth grade. Yeah. Where I, I still remember when we went, we, we, we were late, we had just left eighth grade and we were going through ninth and tenth, you know, we were going through and you looked in, no one was there, mm -hmm. and you looked in the Latin room and you go, you turn to me and you say, well, that's, it's rather Spartan in there. Do you remember doing that? No. <laughs> you turned to me and was like, well, it's rather Spartan. That was unintentional. <laughs> no, it was not that clever. No, you, you did it on purpose because then you were like, I went, then you were like, you gave me eel face. I apologize. Um, no, it was awesome. But I still remember that. And that was before that class started. But that class was so, w it was good. I still, obviously, I cannot believe I can still do that. Um, but um, I, I say we dedicate this, we dedicate this to our Latin teacher back then. Who passed away yesterday. Yeah. We just found out. Yeah. So, so love to him and his family. <clears throat> and, um, but yeah, still. Yeah. I still think about him because I still see Latin a lot in my job. And and I, you know, it, so I still think about him all the time. But his, you know, it, it, he will live on in us because I, I still use what he taught me. How do you say like and subscribe in Latin? I don't know. You can't, you can't even say yes or no, so. Unless you get into vulgar Latin. Agricola. Yes. Farmer. <laughs> so, like, okay. like us and subscribe us. <laughs> That's it, for sure.